Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty crazy news because it does seem like we are now finally seeing the PlayStation 5 Pro and or slash PlayStation 5, you know, Slim, whatever you want to go call it. Same with the Xbox Series X Pro. That also seems like these upgrades are now apparently in the hands now of these really big AAA studios. And this is actually all coming from the same information that came from the GTA 6 leakers. So now it has like, now obviously when it comes to all these types of rumors and information and speculations or whatever, Whatever it may be, you should always be taking a lot of these things when it comes to YouTubers or Twitter people or whatever with a grain of salt because obviously you want to get clicks, you want to get views, you want to like, you know, do whatever. But the big thing is that sometimes it's more kind of a little bit more intriguing when it comes to people who have either released really huge amounts of information before or as well if it kind of corresponds with other things inside the industry. So to talk about how there's some very, very intriguing mid-generation upgrades that should be coming and or are already in the works when it comes to all these consoles. And I still always find it so funny because a lot of our channel originally and also as of still now was based more on the restocking side of like actually people buying and getting and you know able to play these consoles and even now still there are people who are not able to actually go and get their consoles still that like they're still waiting or have to buy one or have to wait for seals deals or whatever it might be so it's always crazy whenever you hear this because it just seems so far-fetched but in theory the playstation 5s have been out for about two years so this is insane for me to even think about and just in general so give me your thoughts and comments down below as we go through the video itself as well we're going to show you some proof some comments and all that make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway we have a 5 dollars giveaway for the ps5 xbox and just in general cash link down below same with the twitch you just want to follow and of course the target amazon links and let's dive into the video. So as I mentioned, this does seem like we have these now mid-gen consoles finally becoming somewhat of a reality. Now this actually comes into the fact of that we have now articles shooting out over here. As we mentioned, also GTA 6 hackers, you know, the leakers, talking about this. So the mid-gen PS5, Xbox Series X upgrades should be in the hands of now AAA Studio shortly, says GTA 6 leaker. Now, this kind of would make a lot of sense, though, because typically around like the three to four year period, we have seen a lot of things like PS3 Slims. We've had like PS4 Pros. We've had Xbox Pros, you know, all these like mid generations or either it's like a just a slightly more a like improvement, slightly better GPU, slightly better storage or whatever it may be as well. Or just sometimes even fine tuning the consoles and making them a little bit smaller. So mid console generation upgrades became a thing with the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X, which delivered 4K support to console gamers, albeit with some limitations, you know, the PS4 Pro games, for instance, often use a checkerboard rendering or just rendered games at 1440p and then just went and upscaled it. But for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X generation, though, the feasibility of mid-gen upgrades seemed less obvious, mainly because a lot of folks are like, well... These consoles are pretty streamlined as is. We try to maybe get it to like the highest, most up-to-date as time goes on. And as well, we don't really have to push for 8K gaming or like 144 hertz typically because most gaming standards are probably more so 60 FPS and then maybe 4K. So, and as of right now, a lot of games besides <coughs> Gotham Knights, <coughs> um, no, sorry, uh, basically going to run up a nice 60 FPS. So uh, based at this point, their standards and levels are usually pretty good and pretty solid. Although some of these higher up at former executives are like, hey, you know, do we really need to have these mid-generation refreshers? Do we care about these updates? Although this is back in July 8th, 2020. Now there's also another two years since with like GPU upgrades, AMD upgrades and everything else. It kind of ties into more as well. So it says... It may be simply be a less necessary as well with 4K was becoming a mainstream resolution for PC and TVs. And the base consoles were designed around driving 1080p or less output. When you have a set, set that requires 4X the performance just to drive 4X the pixels, then you eat up all the performance just driving resolution. I think it's unlikely that we'll see 8K TVs go mainstream in the same way we saw 4K go mainstream. I kind of doubt that. I think 8K is just going to be the next iteration step, and a lot of folks are still slagging along on the 4K, although 4K is becoming the standard for the industry for TVs and other resolutions, performing platforms, Netflix, and even for YouTube itself. So, as of this, we kind of are seeing like that as a standard, it's just not as big as of yet. So I think more of the bigger standard I think people would want to have would be 4K gaming, consistent 60 FPS, even if it's a very demanding game, or even possibly 4K performance modes at like 90 FPS, uh, where it's like, you know, just more of like a basic, it's nice, 
maybe even 1440p upscale to as well just 1440p 90 fps as well would probably be a next good logical stepping stone so they're basically also saying they're likely to see improvements on nits to drive better hdr which did just get released in the playstation not too too long ago or better frame rates too as well which i think in terms of pc gaming as a reference higher refresh rates and higher uh, normal frame rates are kind of big so basically like trying to push 144 hertz is usually the standard so cpus and gpus in the next gen should easily support higher frame rates and wider colors so the mid-gen upgrades are not only less financially and technology viable but also less likely to keep up with the display technologies but in theory like if you have like a three-year upgrade and then you have another three-year upgrade for the ps6 it kind of makes sense because it's usually pushing for the highest standard of quality for consumers too as well but even with all that kind of coming out with some skepticism we also did have this leak a few months ago with the tcl technology that actually went and showcased up a lot more of these next gens so a good example for this is they highlight up the gen 90.0 with the xbox series xs ps5 you know with the usual standards but around the 2023 which is funny enough coming pretty soon or 2024 new xbox series s ps5 pro we have all these other various rendered things too as well with higher like you know higher end gpus and gpus and it's also pushing on the potential for tvs so higher hertz higher quality higher everything else so a big thing to kind of note too besides all of this a lot of folks are just kind of guessing but today i know too a little bit to get to this point rumors on mid-gen upgrades come back in full force thing to tez 2 who is the renowned gta leaker who first revealed that Rockstar Games had canceled its planned Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto 4 remasters due to the poor reception of the GTA, the trilogy, the definitive edition, and that rumor was then corroborated with Kotaku as well. Now, I guess I think I just made GTA 6 with so my mistake. But when it comes to that, you guys can go and tell is that this person has actually had insider information before and has been correct before, and other various news sources as well have also confirmed it so it's very intriguing to see so as of only a few hours ago too tez 2 wrote this post on the gta forums so this is basically people saying like hey do you know this for sure first and foremost in regards to the consoles and they go to respond saying for sure too as well with them also stating most AAA studios should have received the dev kits of midlife upgrades or should receive them by the start of the new year. So this is more so kind of confirming that number one, they exist in the wild. The PS5 Pro or Xbox Series X Pros are being made. They're being worked on and being tested. And as of now, these big developers, and I'm sure something like Rockstar, which is probably one of the biggest developers out there, would have access to it. So it would also make a lot of sense seeing that someone out there would also maybe go and know if they have connections with Rockstar, connection with them developing, or they're trying to go test it for the upcoming GTA 6 game. But as well, that also means that other big places such as like, you know, Naughty Dog or, you know, Insomniac Studios might also already have PS5 Pro editions being utilized now these are probably more in the same vein of like a playstation 5 press kit or like you know those like early uh like dev kits where they probably don't look like what they're gonna look like in public they probably have slightly better specs and hardware and better storage how the older like other prior ones were and i do think at the end of the day i'm sure this will be like every company always wants to test this out and work out and see if they could resell consoles and resell everything else and i do really think the playstation 5 pro and xbox series x pro is more so on xbox side are very, very likely to happen. And I think it just makes sense now with how technology has been moving throughout these past few years. So as I mentioned, we have like very reputable people stating that they should be getting them either now or soon. And they also did go and confirm this too, that this is based on actual information. So like from like rather leaks and people confirming it rather than just a guess. So if that's the case, that means we could maybe see these mid-gen upgrades of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S's could potentially be released or announced in 2023. Now, I'm not really sure still because all the PS5 stock is kind of still having issues, and I don't think they want to release it if everyone's trying to buy a PlayStation 5 already still. It's kind of like, it would kind of, you know, kind of split your consumer base out there, but it does seem like this would make a lot of sense because even the PS4 Pro launched three years after the PlayStation 4, while the Xbox One launched a year later. Now, I would probably say they'd probably want to wait a little while longer, but maybe like a 2024 time date would make sense, but it does seem like it's coming out or this is an, it actually exists. So it's way too early to be talking in depth about the specs, and I agree, but an easy predicted is that both Sony and Microsoft would use custom made GPUs 
which would make sense with AMD and their connections with RDN3 architecture that's set to launch before the end of this year on PC. So it would basically have a chance to go and fine tune it, optimize it for consoles and go from there. And AMD is set to unveil the RDNA 3 to the world on November 3rd. So we'll probably have an update for you guys on the video for that. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that. But fun to kind of go and see that leaks are confirming that this actually might be happening sooner rather than later. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 and $500 giveaway. Twitter links down below, Target links down below and all that Amazon stuff too. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place.